or any of our social media handles. And as our first story, a group calling itself the Association of Passengers in Ghana wants the GPRTU to review transport fares and adjust its downwards to reflect the prevailing reduction in the prices of petrol and diesel. The group says it is aware transport fares are not only determined by prices of fuel, but other factors such as prices of spare parts, statutory fees such as permits and vehicle income tax, among others. However, its checks with institutions such as COPEC and IES show that fuel prices will decline further in the coming days, hence their call for reduction in transport fares. For more clarity on the issue, we will speak to the convener of the Association of Passengers in Ghana, Madame Efia Kwateng Asimeni. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, madam. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, madam. First of all, what motivated you to form such an association? We are most grateful for uh, this opportunity. We uh, say a very good afternoon to all your cherished uh, viewers. Okay, so what motivated this association is that over the years we have realized that uh, GPRTU and the Ministry of Transportation uh, have not dealt well with uh, the Ghanaian passengers. That is why we saw the need to bring up this um, association to defend the ordinary passengers so that the passengers too can be heard. So then, you're calling for a reduction. Exactly what percentage are you proposing for, for from the union? Thank you very much. So now we are proposing a 15%, a 15 percent um, a decline or even more. Because as I am talking to you now, when you go to our sewer pumps, about a few weeks now, uh, Super was selling 17.99. Now Super is selling... Uh, 15 cities, 0.41 per West Ghana cities. And so we are asking for this reduction. And uh, when you see this re reduction, uh, the, the reduction is about three Ghana cities. And then it is representing 16 percent. Diesel was also selling at 23 Ghana cities, 49 per West some weeks ago. Now diesel is 18 cities, 81 per West. And the reduction uh, in our view is for Ghana cities, representing 19%. And so considering all those things that they buy food, they buy peppers, they buy all other stuff, we are, I mean, purging, purging it as 15% 15, uh, 15, uh, percent, uh, decrease in the transportation fare. But don't forget that fuel prices have been adjusted upwards so many times without corresponding adjustment in transport fares. Is this not a good reason for the GPRT to maintain the current fares? No, madam. We all, you all bear with me and also your viewers will bear with us that. Okay. I mean, over the years, since 2021, the GPRTU and other transport union uh, went, to, uh, went to a meeting with the transportation ministry uh, and coming out with this automatic adjustment uh, uh, system that any time that square prices increase, they are going to increase it by no going for demonstration, by no going to, I mean, uh, cry to the ministry and all that. We were also expecting that same automatic adjustment formula to also, I mean, bring down transportation fares any time square, uh, square prices also decline. So that is why we are also calling on the GPRT and also the Ministry of Transport who are supposed to fight for the ordinary passengers to do the needful and also bring the uh, the, the, sewer, uh, the transportation fare down for uh, passengers to also enjoy some uh, fair share. Fuel prices on the international market keep fluctuating. What will you suggest if the prices go up again? That is why we have the automatic adjustment formula. So our argument as an association, our argument is that they should use the automatic adjustment formula. Now they are using it to their benefit. Well, anytime they come to the point that the fuel prices have declined, they never, I mean, reduce the transportation fare. So right now, as, a, uh, as an association, all that we are asking the union to do is to stick to the automatic adjustment formula so that any time the fuel prices are down, they can also uh, make it 
reflect the transportation fare. So, madam, with all these calls you're making, have you engaged the stakeholders? Okay, so we are putting our petition together. Tomorrow, we are going to uh, petition the policy on um, road and transport in Parliament. And also, afterwards, we will go to the Ministry of Transport. And also, we will go to the mother body, that is the GPRP, to petition them. Oh, okay, thank you so much for your time and for that insight. Thank you for the opportunity. The, the spokesperson for the Ghana Private Road Union, Alhaji Mo